Hi, let's mash up some signals with maths. In a recent video, we used multiple channels of Rene to create a single, more complex sequence. This time, let's explore a similar idea on maths using various shapes and functions all mashed together in a single output to modulate a single oscillator. I'm going to assume that you know the basics of how maths works. Check out the maths lesson videos for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of all of maths circuits. For now, we're going to start by taking the sum output and patching it straight to the volt per octave input. This will send the sum of all four outputs as set by the output attenuator. So for example, if we want to run channel four more slowly, it sounds like this. If we run channel one more quickly, it sounds like that. For either channel, we can set exactly the depth of modulation using their output attenuators. And we can run both together to get the sum of their outputs. When one's running more slowly than the other, it has the effect of sort of superimposing the faster one on the slower one. I'm going to keep generally channel four slower and let's mult its unity output so that we can also use it for other things. Taking the unity output allows us to keep the attenuated output present in the sum while also using the channel for other things. Let's attenuate this copy of it separately using channel three and patch it to the both input on channel one. This lets us use the slower channel, channel four, to alter the speed of the faster channel. And we can set the depth of that modulation using the channel three attenuator. <laughs> And we can also decide whether to make it speed up as channel 4 goes higher or slow down. Based on whether the channel 3 attenuator is north or south of midnight. I like mixed metaphors, what can I say? I'd also like to incorporate one of Matt's gate outputs, specifically the end of rise from channel one. I'm going to run it into a channel of Modimix and use another copy of channel 4's Unity to modulate the amplitude of that gate. And then I'll run it back into Maths via channel 2. This gate is always timed to channel 1's function. It goes high during the fall portion, but it will also curve here based on the shape of channel four. And it will move up or down based on the channel two attenuator instead of channel one. So we can add or subtract it from the sum as we see fit 
which can allow it to interact in interesting ways with channel one's original function output, as well as that of channel four. Also, that gate will be wider or narrower based on the relative fall time from this channel. With this last connection in place, all 10 knobs on mass are now going to have an effect on the shape of the function that emerges from the sum output. And some of them are originally or additionally going to have an effect on each other. This is a complex function that is technically exactly the sum of its parts, even though in a creative sense, it may be slightly more than that. Now the thing that I particularly like about this sort of function is that it's not necessarily totally predictable by a synthesis. We can turn knobs and not know exactly what's going to happen. But it's not actually random, it's just complex. It's doing exactly what the settings tell it to every time. So when we do find a rhythmic relation that we like, it will probably start more or less repeating itself once we leave it alone. Sometimes I can't believe how many different shapes and textures can come from just two function generators and an oscillator. And the same is generally true of any given collection of circuits inside of a modular synthesizer. If we take the time to combine them and dig into the results, who knows what we might find. Thanks for watching, and happy patching.
Let's <laughs> go.